five, four, three, two, one, zero. The initiation of NASA's Voyager probes marked the commencement of an extraordinary interstellar expedition, showcasing our capability not only to observe Earth, but also to delve into the realms of our solar system and beyond. We have ignition, and we have liftoff. Our eyes, our minds, our, our souls are moving out to the universe. Voyager kept doing things for the first time over and over again. None of the managers really appreciated the complexity and the autonomy that we just launched into space. Yet both missions went seriously wrong only moments after taking flight. We thought that we'd lost the spacecraft. They went on to make astounding and unexpected discoveries. Even after 45 years, these exceptional spacecrafts persist in furnishing scientists with updated insights into the vast expanse of space. Despite possessing a memory capacity three million times smaller than a typical smartphone and operating at a pace 38,000 times slower than a 5G internet connection, these remarkable probes steadfastly maintain their position at the forefront of space exploration. However, in a surprising turn of events, the Voyagers have chanced upon an inconceivable revelation. What are they presently engaged in? What extraordinary encounters await the Voyager spacecraft? Let's uncover the answers. On September 5, 1977, a momentous journey set forth from Cape Canaveral, Florida, as Voyager 1 embarked on its space odyssey propelled by the Titan IIE or center rocket. Merely 15 days later, on August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 followed suit initiating a parallel venture into the cosmic unknown. Their primary mission was to explore the gas giants of our solar system, namely Jupiter and Saturn, along with the moons that orbit them. However, these intrepid explorers far surpassed their initial objectives, embarking on a trajectory that led them to the outermost reaches of our celestial neighborhood. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have established a multitude of records throughout their remarkable odyssey. Surpassing all other spacecraft in history, they have endured the test of time, venturing farther from Earth than any other human-made objects. Remarkably, they have breached the boundaries of interstellar space, marking a historic milestone as the first human-created entities to achieve this feat. Their trajectory has propelled them beyond the sun's sphere of influence and into the uncharted realms of the galaxy, yielding invaluable data for scientists. Positioned more than 12 billion miles from Earth as pioneering interstellar probes, they continue to astonish physicists with unexpected findings, including the recent discovery that defies prediction, an exploration we will delve into more extensively later. The accomplishments of the Voyager twin probes stand as nothing short of spectacular. Their initial observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons conducted over 40 years ago left researchers astonished and challenged preconceived notions about these distant worlds. Contrary to the belief that these moons would resemble our own moon in being inactive and heavily cratered, they were revealed to be teeming with geological activity. Voyager 2, in particular, achieved numerous significant milestones throughout its remarkable journey. It earned the distinction of being the first spacecraft to pass by Uranus in 1986, and a mere three years later, it conducted a historic flyby of Neptune. Remarkably, it stands alone as the sole spacecraft to have ventured along this particular path. As these spacecraft persist in their extraordinary voyage, NASA has taken strategic measures to prolong their operational lifespans. Over the past three years, non-essential components and heaters have been deactivated to conserve energy, ensuring their continued operation well into the next decade, with an estimated mission end date of 2030. For the dedicated scientists and engineers who have been integral to this extraordinary journey since its inception, the culmination of the Voyager missions is a bittersweet moment. Their unwavering dedication and hard work have propelled the project far beyond its initial expectations. The data returned by the Voyagers has yielded invaluable insights, driving numerous scientific discoveries and serving as a wellspring of inspiration for generations of researchers and space enthusiasts. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 transcend the status of ordinary spacecraft. Meticulously designed as stable platforms with a rotation rate more than 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock, this design minimized visual blur as the spacecraft captured images and data hurtling through space. Their impressive imaging capabilities began to astound scientists and the public even before their encounters with the outer planets, as the spacecraft commenced transmitting images of Jupiter, 
while still several months away from the planet. The early images beamed back by the Voyagers, unveiling the swirling clouds and iconic great red spot of Jupiter, elicited delight among audiences at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. However, it was the revelation of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon, Io that truly laid the groundwork for the groundbreaking observations of the Voyagers. Io, slightly larger than Earth's moon, emerged as the most volcanically active body in the solar system. The spacecraft's instruments picked up distinctive signals from Io, findings later corroborated by vivid images capturing towering volcanic plumes and a surface marked by the expulsion of volcanic material. Notably pale, one of Eos' prominent volcanoes erupted to heights 30 times greater than Mount Everest, covering an area nearly the size of France. Over the course of their mission, the Voyager spacecraft amassed over 33,000 images of Jupiter and its moons, showcasing the planet's beauty and the remarkable diversity of moonscapes within the Jovian system. Prior to the recent impossible discovery, the twin Voyagers had been unveiling spectacular findings since their launch. One of the most surprising revelations was the existence of Jupiter's rings, albeit faint, adding an intriguing dimension to the gas giant. Additionally, Voyager 2 uncovered that Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 named moons, boasted an icy shell believed to be over 60 miles thick. These discoveries challenged preconceived notions about the nature of these distant celestial bodies and spurred further investigations into the potential habitability of icy moons. As the Voyagers bid farewell to Jupiter, they received a crucial gravity assist that bestowed upon them a farewell kick, propelling them on a trajectory toward Saturn. This vital boost proved indispensable, enabling them to break free from the Sun's gravitational pull and continue their journey deeper into space. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 subsequently charted separate courses, each venturing toward new frontiers. Voyager 1's trajectory led it in proximity to Saturn's moon Titan, shrouded in an orange, hazy atmosphere. The enigmatic nature of this moon captured scientists' curiosity, prompting further investigations into its intricate chemistry. Voyager 1 then altered its course northward, departing from the planetary plane, commencing its odyssey beyond the bounds of our solar system. In contrast, Voyager 2 embarked on a series of adventures that took it to the outermost planets of the solar system. In 1986, it executed a historic flyby of Uranus, discovering 10 previously unknown moons and augmenting the planet's moon count. Three years later, Voyager 2 reached Neptune, unveiling the extraordinary features of this distant ice giant. During its encounter with Neptune, Voyager 2 recorded wind speeds reaching up to 1,000 miles per hour, setting a record as the fastest wind ever documented on a planet in our solar system. As the spacecraft approached within 2,980 miles of Neptune's azure methane-rich atmosphere, it provided unprecedented insights into the characteristics of this remote world. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, emerged as one of the coldest locales in the solar system, with surface temperatures plummeting to a bone-chilling minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 235 degrees Celsius. Not only did Triton exhibit extreme cold, but it also showcased distinctive features, including ice volcanoes that expelled nitrogen gas and icy particles, reaching heights of five miles into its thin atmosphere. These revelations expanded our comprehension of the diversity and intricacy inherent in celestial bodies throughout our solar system, even in its outermost reaches. A key figure instrumental in extending the missions beyond their initial objectives was the esteemed astronomer Carl Sagan. As a member of the Voyager mission's imaging team, Sagan fervently advocated for capturing one last series of images before the cameras on both spacecraft were deactivated. These images, he believed, would serve as a parting gift to humanity, a final glimpse of our home planet from the profound depths of space. Sagan's persistence bore fruit. On Valentine's Day in 1990, Voyager 1 pivoted its camera back toward the inner solar system and took a sequence of 60 images. Among them, the most iconic is the pale blue dot, an indelible symbol of our place in the cosmos. Captured from a distance of 3.8 billion miles, it stands as the farthest image of our planet ever recorded. In this poignant image, Earth appears as a minuscule pale blue speck, barely distinguishable amid the vastness of space. The Voyager mission unfolds as an extraordinary narrative of durability and longevity akin to a space-age superhero comic. Even after four decades, the Voyager probes persist in their mission, 
diligently transmitting valuable data from the farthest reaches of our cosmic neighborhood. Now let's delve into the charming quirk of their archaic 8-track tape system. Yes, you heard it correctly minus 8-track tapes, the epitome of 70s audio technology, remain the chosen medium for the Voyager probes. It's a testament to the ingenuity of the mission's designers that these reliable tapes have endured the test of time. But why 8-track tapes, you may wonder? Well, in the early days of space exploration, digital storage as we understand it today was still in its infancy. A reliable and durable data storage system was needed, and those trusty 8-track tapes fit the bill perfectly. They have become the indestructible workhorses of the cosmic age. What adds to the intrigue is that the data on these tapes goes beyond mere tunes. It comprises precious scientific information about the outer planets, moons, and interstellar space. Indeed, these tapes hold the key to unraveling some of the most profound mysteries of the universe. Consider the durability factor. The Voyager spacecraft endure extreme temperatures, cosmic radiation, and the vacuum of space. Despite these challenges, these aging explorers persist, akin to sending your grandparents on a trek through Antarctica and witnessing not just survival but thriving resilience. The success of the Voyager missions can be attributed to various strategies, with one key technique being gravity assist maneuvers. The role of these maneuvers in the legendary interstellar missions was nothing short of brilliant. In the audacious quest to explore the outer reaches of our solar system, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 required a propulsion boost beyond what their own systems could provide. Enter Gravity Assists, a celestial dance with some of our solar system's heavyweight planets, leveraging their immense gravitational pull to slingshot the spacecraft on their way. This ingenious maneuver not only conserved precious fuel but also imparted the necessary velocity for these spacecraft to visit multiple destinations on their grand tour. At its core, a gravity assist or gravitational slingshot involves transferring some of a planet's momentum to the spacecraft as it passes by. Picture Voyager 1 approaching Jupiter, a massive gas giant with a gravitational pull to match. With precision executed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Voyager 1 swung by Jupiter at just the right angle and speed. Jupiter's gravity tugged at the spacecraft, accelerating it to a higher velocity, a cosmic boost, providing Voyager 1 with the required oomph. Executing this maneuver is an art, requiring precise angles and speeds. If Voyager 1 had approached Jupiter incorrectly, the slingshot could have led to a cosmic catastrophe, sending the spacecraft off course. The required precision is mind-boggling, yet the scientists and engineers behind this cosmic ballet got it right, not just once but multiple times. These gravity assists propelled Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 on a breathtaking journey through the solar system. Voyager 2, for example, utilized gravity assists from Jupiter and Saturn to navigate to Uranus and Neptune, showcasing the strategic brilliance that underpinned the success of the Voyager missions. The celestial dances facilitated by gravity assists were pivotal in making the grand tour of the Voyager missions possible. Without these slingshots, the trajectory and success of Voyager 1 reaching interstellar space, followed by Voyager 2, would not have been the same. The precision involved in executing these gravity assists was breathtakingly complex, especially in the case of Voyager 2's Grand Tour, where any misstep in these slingshots could have spelled a failed mission. The determination and relentlessness of the mission's team played a crucial role in achieving this precision. While gravity assist maneuvers were integral to navigating the cosmos, another critical component ensured that the Voyager missions were more than mere celestial daydreams, the Deep Space Network, DSN. Often likened to an interstellar telephone line, the DSN played a vital role in keeping us connected with the intrepid Voyager probes as they ventured into the great unknown. The Deep Space Network consists of massive radio antennas strategically positioned around the world, including locations in California, Spain, and Australia. Ranging from 26 to a hopping 70 meters in diameter, these gargantuan dishes act as cosmic megaphones, enabling communication with spacecraft traveling beyond our planet. In the context of the Voyager missions, where the probe served as our eyes and ears in the vastness of space with their cameras to sensors and instruments, a robust communication system was essential. The DSN played a crucial role in making sense of the data sent back by the probes and providing them with new instructions, ensuring the success of this unprecedented interstellar exploration. Imagine this scenario. Voyager 1, en route to the outer reaches of the solar system, sends a message back to Earth, a faint signal, traveling at the speed of light. 
As it traverses the vast cosmic expanse, the signal weakens, arriving at Earth as a mere whisper. Yet the colossal antennas of the Deep Space Network, DSN, are poised to catch that whisper. They lock onto Voyager's feeble signal, amplifying it into data that scientists can analyze. The role of the DSN extends beyond signal reception. It actively participates in sending commands. Missions like Voyager are dynamic, requiring scientists and engineers to adjust plans, redirect the spacecraft, or tweak instruments. These commands are transmitted via the DSN, beaming them into space to reach Voyager. The DSN facilitates a continuous two-way conversation between Earth and the farthest human-made objects in the cosmos. One remarkable aspect of the DSN is its ceaseless operation, working 24-7s, tirelessly listening for those distant signals. It serves as an unblinking eye on the cosmos, maintaining our connection with spacecraft, even when they are billions of miles away. The Voyager missions stand as a testament to the power of collaboration and innovation. While the spacecraft embarked on their incredible journeys, the DSN ensured they were never truly alone, exemplifying the extraordinary capabilities that emerge from the synergy of exploration and technology. The Deep Space Network played a crucial role in bridging the gap between our planet and the unknown, enabling us to explore the outer planets and venture into interstellar space. It is not merely a collection of antennas, it serves as our lifeline to the cosmos. This network ensures that the stories of the Voyager missions continue to be written, even as the spacecraft journey beyond our solar system and into the uncharted territory of interstellar space. Now let's delve into the concept of the heliopause and the fascinating discovery Voyager 2 made there. The heliopause represents a significant milestone in the interstellar journey of the Voyager probes. But what exactly is the heliopause? The heliopause is the outermost boundary of the heliosphere, the region of space influenced by the solar wind and the sun's magnetic field. Beyond the heliopause lies interstellar space, where the influence of our sun diminishes, and the influence of the broader Milky Way galaxy takes over. Voyager 2 made a remarkable discovery at the heliopause. On November 5, 2018, it became the second human-made object, after Voyager 1, to cross this boundary and enter interstellar space. The spacecraft detected a shift in the particles surrounding it, indicating a transition from the solar wind originating from the sun to the particles characteristic of interstellar space. This milestone provided valuable insights into the dynamics of our sun's interaction with the surrounding interstellar environment. In essence, Voyager 2's passage through the heliopause marked a historic moment in our exploration of the cosmos, expanding our understanding of the boundary between our solar system and the vast expanse of interstellar space. The heliopause serves as the boundary that separates our sun's influence from the vast expanse of interstellar space beyond. Pinpointing the exact location of this boundary posed a mystery with various estimates and theories. In the early days, estimations placed the heliopause as close as Jupiter, but subsequent calculations refined our understanding. In 1993, astronomer Bill Gurney projected the heliopause to be between 116 and 177 astronomical units AU. To provide perspective, one AU is roughly 93 million miles, representing the distance between Earth and the Sun. Gurney's projections proved remarkably accurate when Voyager 1 reached the heliopause about 20 years later and detected the anticipated rise in plasma density. However, Voyager 1's observations introduced a puzzling question. While an increase in plasma density was observed at the heliopause, there was no significant shift in the ambient magnetic field direction. This unexpected finding raised questions because, Theoretically, if the spacecraft had transitioned from a region where the magnetic field originated from the Sun to one where it came from other stars, a noticeable change should have occurred. Voyager 2 added to the mystery when it reached the heliopause at the same distance as its twin, 120 AU from Earth, but similarly failed to detect any magnetic field changes. Theoretical models predicting the behavior of the heliosphere and its interaction with the interstellar environment face challenges due to these unexpected observations. The anticipated fluctuations in the heliosphere, synchronized with the Sun's 11-year cycle, did not align with the data gathered by the Voyagers, adding complexity to our understanding of this boundary between our solar system and interstellar space. When Voyager 2 reached the heliopause, the solar wind, which ebbs and flows with the Sun's cycle, was at its strongest. 
This contradicted the predicted position of the heliopause, which should have been further out than the observed 120 astronomical units AU, adding another layer of complexity to our understanding. Despite these challenges, the data collected by the Voyagers have provided valuable insights for refining theoretical models. Scientists now believe that our Sun has transitioned from a hot ionized zone to a partially ionized section of our galaxy. This transition was likely triggered by nearby supernovae, ancient stars that exploded at the end of their lives, heating the surrounding area and removing electrons from adjacent atoms. The boundary between these regions is likened to a seaside with turbulent waves and mixed magnetic fields. While the degree of turbulence can vary, the observations by the Voyagers have revealed small-scale changes near the heliopause but negligible variations on larger scales. As the ageless explorers, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 continue their solitary journeys through interstellar space, they leave behind the planets and moons they once called home. The cosmic guessing game now involves pondering what lies ahead for these indefatigable travelers. Voyager 1 is racing toward the constellation of Fuchsius, while Voyager 2 is making its way toward the constellation Cetus, marking different directions for their trajectories through the vastness of interstellar space. The mysteries awaiting them are part of the ongoing saga of human exploration into the unknown regions of the cosmos. While the prospect of facing cosmic demise in 2030, as foreseen by certain scientists, may initially seem daunting, there remains a plausible scenario where these entities could potentially surpass the longevity of our species, persevering for millions of years. At some point in the distant future, they may chance upon distant star systems, serving as bearers of a message from a forgotten Earth. Envision an extraterrestrial civilization stumbling upon these ancient manifestations of human creativity, bearing witness to the golden record, a temporal capsule encapsulating our existence. The mysteries that could unfold from such an encounter are boundless. Imagine the profound revelations awaiting discovery. Thank you for your attention. Feel free to express your thoughts, engage in discussions, and share this content. Take a moment to explore the video currently displayed on your screen. It's truly remarkable.